Hello everyone. Today we are going to work with number partners. Let's review. Number partners are the groups that we would add together, or we could say combine, to make a total. Today we're going to be working with partners of the number 10. So let's get started. As I see here on the number rack, there are already five beads. So I will write that as my first partner. Now I need to show my thinking and figure out how many more are needed to make a group of 10. So let me see. I have five already and now I'm going to add on until, until I get to 10. So one more would be six, another would be seven, here we have eight, nine, oops, I'm running out of space. I'll do one here, 10. So let me check my work. I have five, then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'm going to stop because 10 is the total I was trying to get. So now I'm going to come up here and write the number of the second partner or the second add-in. And there you have it. In the next video, we're going to do the same sort of activity, but instead of number beads, we're going to use number pieces. So stay tuned. Here we are for more practice in learning number partners. Our total or sum is still 10, and we're trying to figure out what are the two partners, or another name for it is add-in, that when we add or combine together, that we will have a total of 10. So let's see what we have already. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Did you notice we have a 5 group? We could have said 5, 6, 7. All right, so we know what our first partner or add-in is. So let's write that in. That is 7. Now we have to solve for the second add-in. All right. We have to think here and we have to show our thinking. So I have 7. I'm going to count on until I count up to 10. So I will say 7 and now one more makes eight, and another makes nine, and one more makes ten. I'm ready to stop, and I'm ready to show my th second partner. So I see three blue, that's my second partner. So my second add-in, or my second partner, is the number three. So I'm stating that 7 plus 3 equals, or is the same as, 10. And I see here I have 10. So my thinking is accurate. Now, in the next video, we will solve two missing partners until we get to a total of 10 using, hmm, let's see, let's use a number line. See you soon. Well here we are again looking to solve for partners of 10. In this case we're going to use a number line. We still have to solve for our two add-ins that when we combine will be the same as or equal to 10. So let's see what we have in this situation. Can you tell what our first partner is? Did you say six? Because when I look at this, it shows me that there are six on the number line already. So we need to write that as our first partner or add in. We'll write the number six. Now we have to think and solve and show our thinking for how to move from six to 10. And we show that in a number line by jumps. So let's get started. 
We're going to start at six. I can do one, two, three, four, and stop because 10 is what we're solving for. Or I could also show this by just taking one jump and stopping when we get to 10 and then count the number of spaces. So let's see how many jumps that was. That was one, two, three, four. Or we could also look at how many spaces. One, two, three, four. So our second partner or our second add-in is the number four. So let's go back and check our work. It tells me that six and four more is 10. And I do see that that matches my thinking and my drawing. So I know that this as well is an accurate equation. Thanks for listening and have fun learning about math.